The immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm talking about the Atari VCS and the possible final nail in the coffin for this project. Now, I've talked about the Atari VCS before. It's been over a year since I've discussed it. I was really actually kind of hopeful when it first was announced as the Atari box. Then it went to Indiegogo, and I became a skeptic and something as the project has evolved, um, my confidence in this project has just gone downhill. And with the recent news just coming out, I am very, 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 very frustrated with this project. Avoid it. Um, I, can't, I can't say enough bad things about what I'm hearing about this project. So it is a train wreck. It's a train wreck being reported from several people. Uh, there's new news. Now let's first start, start off with the official news from Atari and what what they're doing now with the Atari VCS is that they are going to pretty much offer a streaming service for $7.99 a month or like $100 a month or whatever uh, to offer a, a backlog of Atari games and so that right there was enough news for anybody to be frustrated because you know I don't think people wanted to get the Atari VCS and have it uh, as a streaming device I think people wanted to see the Atari VCS offer you know new Atari games to purchase have a store and you know being offering this I think was a huge disappointment for the people that actually backed this project which you know there, there's people out there uh, you know I did uh, pre-order one for the channel but told everybody else to avoid this because they went with Indiegogo and so this is an absolute disaster avoid this project you know I knew I knew once it went to Indiegogo it, it that was a very bad thing you know if you've seen my other video of the other Indiegogo project that I packed and that's the retro engine Sigma that was a complete disaster. Uh, it was a total failure. And I actually predict now that the Atari VCS may never come out. I'd be very surprised if it does. And so there's countless people out there that are probably going to lose their money. With Indiegogo, unfortunately, uh, they don't have to give your money back. You you lose it. So, you know, when you're investing with Indiegogo, you're, you're just supporting a company doing something. You're not guaranteed anything. It's very frustrating. And so getting into the news from the register, this is, uh, you know, I'm going to put a link below to the article that first broke this news. This is huge news. And the, the, the architect, the system architect for the Atari VCS has essentially quit. And he quits because he hasn't been paid in six months. That is a problem. And so the register goes into detail. They've been covering the Atari VCS for a while. They've been a skeptic. They've been, they did a really good article, by the way, uh, detailing some of the issues right now with the project. Now, you know, the Atari VCS may still come out. And, you know, it may hobble out as some, uh, you know, form. And I hope it does for the people that spent, you know, hundreds of dollars uh, pre ordering this console. I can't tell anybody to support this. I can't tell anybody to back this because it is an absolute train wreck. Now, supposedly, it's going to be at Walmart at some point in the future. Who knows if it's even going to come out? Now, the system architect, you know, Atari themselves only has like, the, the, this article discusses that it has three employees. Well, that's not many people. So they've outsourced a lot of this work to other people. And so Rob Wyatt, was, uh, you know, his consulting company, a uh, tin giant, um, was handling the prototype for the Atari VCS. And so they've punted this project to another company Atari is working with to continue on with this project. So Rob Wyatt has not been paid in six months, so he quits. He quits and he leaves this project. So this project and anything he worked on is in limbo so it's obviously being punted to this other company 
Uh, this company has not been has not responded back to the register. Now, lo and behold, uh, Atari has been promoting this console for almost two years. Rob Wyatt uh, has been working on a prototype, and the prototype only was formed a couple months ago. And so this project has been going a long time without any physical hardware. It pretty much only happened to appear a couple months ago. And so for that to happen and for the person involved with making this prototype to quit, that is a huge blow to this project. And now I wonder if it's gonna make its March 2020 deadline, which would be approximately two years since the Atari VCS was originally announced oh my gosh it's such a, such a disaster now for like i've said before many people have moved on from atari but there's a lot of people out there that were hoping that the atari brand could come back in some form of hardware you know there's a lot of people out there that grew up with atari and that it could form uh some form of set top box or or you know a digital a, a digital device in which people could play Atari classics, and so they're still announcing that you know the Atari is still going to come out. You know they're moving forward. It's going to come with uh, with the Vault, which is like a hundred classic twenty you know Atari twenty six hundred games. The same bundle, by the way, you can buy on Steam and avoid this train wreck. And so it's just frustrating. It's frustrating to see this this troubled project go from an okay announcement to you know a lull in information and then information comes up and this is just terrible news the atari vcs is dead okay uh whether it comes out or not i don't care i really don't care i don't think many people care anymore i think it's just it's 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 just it's in that coleco chameleon category now of how bad this project has gone from bad to worse is it even going to come out you know are they able to fulfill all the pre-orders even even the low pre-order amount i think there's like fifteen thousand people pre-ordered this and many of them are probably collectors that don't really care about what what games come on it anyways and so for me the whole purpose of me pre-ordering it was to show on the channel to show how bad this thing is or how good it is or this is exactly what came out you know, that was the whole purpose of me pre-ordering and, and telling other people to avoid it at all cost. And, you know, this is terrible for people that want something like that. Of all the crazy news that, you know, is being unveiled today, the, the, the irony is, is that the competitor of Atari, the Intellivision Amico, looks to be more like a classic game console than the Atari VCS. I never would have thought that you know, two years ago. And so, you know, more information is coming out about the Intellivision Amico, and it's got a great design team behind it, and they've been sharing gameplay, they've been sharing designs of the actual system, and with the Atari VCS, as time goes on, it's more and more looking like a train wreck, and that really, really is frustrating. I'm sorry to anybody who supported it. Um, I'm telling everybody, avoid this train wreck. Even if it comes out on shelves, avoid it. It's going to be an absolute disaster, and I actually, I predict it's not even going to come out now. Uh, you know, with with the with the uh, Atari architect resigning, how is this going to move forward? You know, is another company going to pick it up and actually be able to follow through? You know, are they being paid? You know, is it only a matter of days before they announce that that they've quit the quit this design too? There's been so many things posted on Atari Age forums. There's a forum talk topic on this on Atari Age and it is like hundreds of pages long. It is just an absolute disaster and this adds more fuel to the fire of people and why to avoid Indiegogo and why to avoid pretty much Atari in its current state. It's so sad. I wanted to talk about it. What do you think? So that's it. I wanted to give an update uh, and the final nail in the coffin of the Atari VCS. I want to uh, conclude this video by saying if you're looking for your Atari fix, there's several other ways of getting enjoyment of Atari officially. You can buy compilation packages. They have one for the Switch. They have one for PS4, Xbox, and Steam. They have decent retro consoles the atari flashback 9 was actually a pretty decent product and the retron 77 which actually plays original atari 2600 carts so if you're looking for the atari fix 
go that route or buy original hardware, which I know some of you have in your collection. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.